These pupils were taken on a school trip to learn more about technology and the world of industry, an opportunity to tell them those fields have nothing to do with gender. Some people may think these jobs are for boys, but the truth is that anyone can have the careers we've seen here. Only 30 percent of those who work in manufacturing activities are women. The gender-based distaste for the industry and science in general starts at an early age. Many girls think it just isn't for them. They don't believe in themselves. That's why there aren't many girls in science. They have to be more confident. And no one should tell them, don't do this job. Stereotypes seem to be at the heart of the problem. Even some teachers pass them on to their students, often involuntarily. Sometimes teachers call on boys to solve math problems because they think it will be easier for them than for the girls and that boys are more likely to give the right answer. But studies show that that's completely wrong. Experiments show many girls internalize those stereotypes. When asked to draw this geometric shape as a math exercise, girls underperform. When asked to do the same as an art project, they do better than the boys. During an evaluation, when something is at stake in a difficult maths test, for example, these negative gender stereotypes that say women are allegedly not as good in maths can become a handicap. These cliches throw them off and block some of their cognitive capacities so they're not able to use them to the fullest to resolve the task at hand. The gap between boys and girls has worsened with Emmanuel Macron's high school reform. Before the reform, 44 percent of female students chose advanced math. The following year, only 24 percent. Women working in science and manufacturing have started meeting with female students to deconstruct stereotypes and show them they can do anything they want.